We are learning more about Tony Kelly Sr., the driver of the RV who died after shooting the mother of his children and leading authorities on a multi county chase. Police say that they were alerted because the victim texted 911 for help. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers joins us live at the hospital where that woman is being treated now. Brittany. Well, we were told by family members last night that Candy Price is in the hospital, but she is currently on a ventilator. Now, you mentioned those text messages. Police are crediting with her for picking up the phone and texting Hunt County Sheriff's Office last night to let them know exactly where she was and what was happening inside that RV. And if you take a look at the texts that follow, it's chilling to see. Now, the two kids, uh, sh she texted to say that she and her children were inside of that RV early that morning. Now, Officer Mitchell Singleton and Alfonso Oliva were the first to spot the RV, and they tried to pull it over, but it took off. Now, they say they witnessed Candy Price, who'd already been shot twice, climb out the rear window and then jump. Police punctured the RV's tires with spike strips, but the driver, Tony Kelly, kept driving until the rims caused sparks and eventually a fire. Officer Olivo says that he watched Kelly toss the kids out of the RV and then rushed in to grab them. Officer Singleton said that Price was disoriented and beat up, but breathing as he tried to calm her down. All the dispatchers had extensive training on it. It's something new to us, and at this case, it proved to be very, very valuable. So again, he is crediting Price with using uh, text messaging to alert them about what was going on instead of making a phone call. Now, Kelly was later found dead from a gunshot inside the RV. We are told the children are okay. Right now, police are still investigating exactly what led up to that shooting and the kidnapping. Reporting live here in Dallas this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.